Hello there. This video is to explain how to set up the business choice board for distance learning in your own Google Classroom. So what you'll see here is the choice board without links. Now, I recommend using this one to update for your students. That way you don't accidentally miss a link and send kids to Teachers Pay Teachers when you want to send them to Google Classroom. So start with the one without links. And then you'll know all the links you've added have been ones that you've put there. So what what you're going to have to do is add links to the directions if you need to as well. But, you know, it's editable. Add the links to the video and or the form, whatever you decide to do up here. But don't forget to add those two. OK, so you'll see I've done the first one here. And when we click on it, it takes us straight to the assignment in Google Classroom. And that's what you're going to do for all the links on the choice board. So in Google Classroom, I'm going to start with this classwork tab here. When kids log in, it takes them to the stream. So you want to make sure that they know to go to the classwork tab. And up here, these are things that are not assigned topics. So they stay static and they stay up here. This daily slides, I always leave up here. My kids know to go to them. This is a freebie in my store. If you want to check it out, there's four different formats and there's two examples for distance learning. I'm going to make another video about that and um, you can check that out if you want. Okay, so this is a distance learning topic. And when I click Create, I can go to Topic, and I can type the name and click Add. And these are basically like folders that you can use to organize the stuff in this Classwork tab up here. So I've created a distance learning topic, and under it I have some of the assignments as examples. I'm going to go ahead and click Create Assignment, and type in Business is Everywhere. And then you can add more instructions if you want and click Add, Google Drive. And if you've recently opened it, it's gonna be under this Recent section. If you need to search your folders, you can click on My Drive. But since I've recently opened it, it's right here. I'm just gonna click on it and click Add. And then students can view the file. Um, I'm gonna change that to make a copy for each student because I wanna make sure that my students can type on it without seeing what other people are typing. So I'm gonna make a copy for each of them. And then this is the classroom that you're sending it to. You want to send it to all students. The points I'm going to change to ungraded. And the reason I'm doing that is because it says over here how much it's worth. Um, but students can do these, some of these assignments, they can do multiple times. And I don't want there to be confusion about how many points they get each time. So I'm just leaving it as ungraded. And then over here, I'm leaving it as 20 points. I'm also not going to include a due date because I don't know how long distance learning is going to go on. So I don't want to leave a due date here and then it go past that. So I'm just leaving it no due date. The topic I'm assigning is distance learning. I'm going to click assign. And once you do that, sometimes it takes a few seconds if you're making a copy for each student. But once we click assign, we'll see that it shows up as the first thing under distance learning. Now you can drag and drop so that you can change the order of the things under a topic, but it will show up at the top and then drag and drop if you want to. So now that we have our assignment, Business is Everywhere, I'm going to click View Assignment, and it's going to take us to Student Work, which students obviously can't see. They're going to see Instructions. So click on Instructions, copy that link, select the text in the choice board that you want to turn into a link, click the Insert Link button up there, paste the link, click Apply. And now when kids click on it, it will take them to that assignment in Google Classroom. And so let's imagine that this board is complete. All the links are filled in. It's exactly what we want, including the links up here. You've tested them all. It's good to go. So we're going to go back to our Classwork tab in Google Classroom. We're going to go to Create Material. And the reason I'm choosing Material is because they aren't going to need to turn anything in for this. They just need to see it. So I'm going to choose material. You can add a description if you want. I'm going to click add, go to Google Drive. Again, I'm, I've recently opened it. So under recent, it shows up right here. If it, didn't, if it doesn't show up, go to my drive and search for it. I'm going to double click on it. And then I'm going to make sure it's going to the classroom I want, to all students. And I'm going to choose distance learning topic. And I'm going to click post. Okay, so back under the Classwork tab in Google Classroom, we'll see that the first option or the first thing under Distance Learning is the Choice Board. And when students click on that, they will not be able to edit it. They will only be able to view it. And when students click on it, they will have access to all those links that you added. And when they click on the links, it will take them right to their assignments in Google Classroom. So 
I hope that this helps you figure out how to post it in your Google Classroom. And I want to wish you one more time good luck to you and your students during this time. Thanks for watching.